So one of the coolest things I ever found for the guitar is MIDI Guitar 2. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to control any software instrument or synth or whatever you got in your DAW with your guitar. <laughs> So it's really cool and you can set it up to control pretty much anything. Now I'm actually using the trial version right now. By changing any instrument that you want by using any instrument, um, software instrument, you can control like whatever you want. So obviously it's an incredible amount of fun. I used it for in a couple different ways for a song that I recently made, which is like a cover of a Slum Village song uh, made by Jay Dilla and a few other guys. Ultimately, it, it isn't the best in the world at doing, at controlling everything, but it, it's good enough. Like it, it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. Like um, you just have to be careful with how you play. It doesn't respond very well to vibrato and stuff like that. Although it will function with vibrato, just not the best. So you have to kind of approach your guitar with a light touch in order for, to get it to control everything. But um, I'm just going to show you some basics of like how to set it up, where to download it, and then. Uh, Hopefully you learned something. By the way, if you're looking for something to practice, uh, get my fretboard memorization cheat sheet from travelingguitars.com slash fretboard cheat sheet. What it is is it's all the triads, the major and minor triads in every single key. Um, through the optive mapping technique and through a couple other techniques, you can actually just learn to memorize not only the notes of the fretboard, but you can also learn how to improvise in a bunch of different keys by understanding the, uh, you know, the foundation of harmony, which is the triads, right? The foundation of chords. You can also sign up to my forum at uh, forum.travelingguitarist.com. Um, there you can, you know, chat with people about uh, guitar and music and whatever else you'd like. So if you want to get your hands on the MIDI guitar too, what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, you want to go to the Jam Origin website. So, you know, go to Google and then type in uh, Jam Origin 2, uh, MIDI guitar 2, excuse me type that in and you can actually try out um, their MIDI guitar for free um, and like I said before it'll just bypass a little bit when you're when you're using the trial version but if you pay for it then you don't have to worry about it but I managed to use it even when even in just the trial version um, for now anyway so here's the download free trial so you're gonna click on that and then uh, here so MIDI guitar 2 um, Mac OS and then Windows. Apparently they have it for, for iOS. I've actually never tried that before. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But yeah, they also have a bass too. I've never tried that, but I'm sure it works all right. So I'm using this one. So we're going to click on that. And then uh, then you just download it and then you go through the normal downloading process. Um, on my computer, I typically have to restart my computer after in order to get my DAW to register the new plugin. But uh, everybody has uh, different requirements. And if you're wondering whether or not it works with your DAW, um, here's a list of all the DAWs, all the DAWs that it, it'll work with. So like Ableton, GarageBand, Logic, MainStage, Pro Tools, Cakewalk, Reaper, Cubase, FL Studio, Studio One. Um, those are all the main ones that um, I would say that people most commonly use. So it'll work with pretty much every major DAW in simple terms. So once you're done doing that, then you wanna open up whatever DAW it is that you're using. And what you want to do is you want to open a new audio track and then you're going to open a software instrument track. I'm going to show you like the GarageBand and Logic version, but uh, I imagine it'll be similar for the other DAWs too. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually like turn off, turn off your feedback protection, turn off the channel EQ. You also want to make sure your master echo and your reverb are turned off, turned off, excuse me. And then uh, we want to make sure that there's like no other plugins running. We can probably just take these right off. No plug in, no plug in. 
So then you're gonna go audio units, sell or excuse me, uh, Jam Origin MIDI Guitar 2, just like so. And then we're gonna choose our instrument here. Now you wanna, you want, what you wanna do is you wanna go Option T, and that will bring up your configured track heading. And then you can click the Record Enable, and it's very important that you do that because it's gonna allow you to control more than one track at, at the same time. And that's crucial for using the MIDI guitar. So hit record enable just like so. There now both of them are functioning and we're gonna just solo these, but we're gonna turn this one off that way you can hear. So once you've done that, you wanna just connect your, your guitar into your audio interface. I recommend going straight into the audio interface and don't, don't have anything before the audio interface. Like I, before I was plugging in my Trident and I figured I'd give that a shot because I'd never done it before. And um, it didn't like it, um, it didn't work. Maybe there's some way to configure it, but I would just keep it simple. Just go straight into your audio interface, set your dial the, the way you normally would, which is as high as you possibly can without causing uh, clipping. And then it's also worth noting that you want your pickups to be cranked as well. So you don't wanna have uh, your pickup volume halfway or anything like that. And you can see already that it's, that it's working, right? And it's gonna work with any instrument too. So um, for instance, let's say, uh, let's add another track, except we're gonna make it, uh, let's make this one like a Steinway grand piano. So it's gonna control this one as well. So when it comes to like bends and vibrato, it's not gonna work quite, uh, it's not gonna work that great. Now there may be something to do with my configuration because I used to be able to get that to work, but I don't think I can do that anymore, at least with the way I have it set up now. And then it's also gonna bypass like that. So you just wanna open up your guitar, um, just like so, hit continue, and then it'll start working again. Actually, now that I think about it, the bend is working now. But it kind of like registers that as more than one note. So you can hear the notes going. See, so it's like triggering the keys. Now, what I like to do is I like to go uh, bends, let's say a range of four, legato, uh, enable that five milliseconds. And then you can also set it up so it registers with your tuning as well. Now, I actually have mine to C-sharp standard and it's still working, even though this is at set at standard tuning. It's kind of interesting because when you have the, the tuning wrong on your guitar with the tuning in MIDI guitar too, um, I find that the bend uh, function doesn't work the way it normally does. So when I have it disabled, the bend does work. But when I go to the way I normally have it at, bend four, it doesn't work anymore. So it must be have to do with uh, the fact that I'm using the wrong type of tuning. But anyway, I hope this was useful to you. Um, I love mini guitar too. Uh, I think it's uh, really fun to play with. And you know, I'm re it really makes me look forward to what is gonna come in the future because I feel like you know, let's say in five years, this technology be, will be even more advanced and, um, you know, you'll be able to control things uh, with, with more accuracy and more precision, um, which would be amazing, right? Because then 
then you can just use your guitar to control all your instruments. You don't need to use a MIDI keyboard, so that'll be perfect for, you know, guitar players and stuff. But anyway, it's been a long day. I'm kind of tired. Uh, let me know, like usual, let me know what you think, uh, if you have any thoughts on the MIDI guitar too, or or uh, let me know what, what kind of tools you have in mind, um, which you think are amazing, or maybe some little things that uh, other people don't know about. You can let me know in the comment section. Thank you.